not either. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> we are currently walking towards Lancaster Castle yeah. for a Pendle Witch ghost walk. Yeah. So our friend couldn't actually make tonight, so she's given us the tickets. Well, thank you very much. So thank you. These walls are a good few meters thick. The towers go down about 30, 40 feet. Um, and the witches, when they were brought here, um, they were marched here from the local areas, um, probably in rags, because they were most of them were poor. They scraped the living. Um, they didn't have good shoes. So the accounts actually say by the time they got to the castle, they were all bloodied up. Now, two of these women were in their 80s, bearing in mind. They were marched here in chains. Um, and, they, and then they were put straight into the dungeon, the well tower, which is around the back. Um, taken 30, 30 foot underground and put in the dungeon. Now apparently, I have never done it, but when you do the tour inside, but actually COVID restrictions permitting, be locked in that dungeon for three in poverty that we can't understand today. She lived in a house with a family, the device family, um, in a place called Malkin Tower. Sounds very grand, doesn't it? Yeah, because I don't live in a they tower. They scraped a living and she was known to um, bribe people, you know, give them medicine that they didn't need and threaten that they would die if they stopped taking them, things like that. And about five years before 1612, somebody actually did die when they stopped taking a potion she used to make for them. So there was a long history of old Demdike um, upsetting people as well as looking after people in Pendle. So she had a bad reputation to start with. So because I do that little bit of the story, She's probably listening now. I think this is why she doesn't like me. Plus, I call her an old bat. Yeah, um, but it's just so you get the type of personality. She's 80 years old, and at, in 1612, you didn't live to be 80 years old. She was a tough lady. She survived. She trained up all of her family, um, her daughter, her grandchildren, all in the cunning lady life. So that to us would be like a herbal lady, yeah, a midwife. So when you go to when you've got a cold. Um, you would have to pay for medical care. No NHS, no local doctors. So we're now taking a little walk around towards probably the bloody corner. The hanging wall, yeah. It's beautiful all lit up at night. And I've got to watch where I'm going. <laughs> so you don't need to look at me for this. I want you to look at the walls. So a castle is designed to keep people out, but as a person, it's great to keep people in. Now, um, these walls are massive. You can't actually see the top because of the trees. Now, a, a local ghost story here, and I've found many sources for it, but it is told that there was a gentleman who did successfully climb these walls, get to the top, and at this point here, he jumped off. Um, he thought he, the tree would break his fall, at least. Um, it didn't, he missed. He hit the deck. He got his freedom, but he lost his life. Now, he is believed to walk this path. He's supposed to be solid, and people don't realize that it's a ghost until they look back and he's this. And I jump over, jump over the wall. <coughs> get a good idea of the site and how a castle is designed is to keep it in the middle and then it has layers going out and um, so we're still officially in the castle even though we're not in the castle if that makes sense and um, so we're still in the castle grounds and spirits and ghosts don't pay attention to walls and um, so when a um, castle was sieged if you were successful in breaching the walls which on this site it never was um, people would go in in, in, in. When, once you ended up in the keep, there'd be a wooden staircase and a high entrance. And what they would do is everybody who was still in the castle would go to the keep, burn the entrance, burn the wooden um, stairway, and then use tunnels to escape. So that's the basic um, outline of many castles, and this is a, a, a particularly successful one of that. Who's going to so be that's great? One of the gentlemen. 
How about you, big guy? Do you want to go? Okay. You stand up Yorkshire accent. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody here that was hanged at the castle? Me. Me. Yeah. Would you like to come forward and speak to us? No. Can you tell us your name? Any of the staff here? Be quiet. <laughs> 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 the gets that a lot. <laughs> so if you don't like my voice, other people's voices work a lot better than mine. So if anybody else wants to call out, anyone brave enough? So there is the Priory. <laughs> Beautiful church. If anybody's got the SLS camera on the phone, it's very active here. If you just want to try it, just as we're walking through, see if you pick up anything mm. here. So now we're moving on. We're going to the pub now. Yeah. I don't make pub for a drink. I think, I think it should be the pub where they used to go to take the last drink before they went to the gallows. Why? Oh God. If anyone's going to slip, it's going to be me. So there is Judge's Lodgings, that's a good place to look if you're coming into Lancaster. I was in charge of the Pendle Witch Trials um, and like I said before his eyes lit up when he realised he was going to climb the social ladder with these trials and this was the house he was given. <laughs> so after these trials this is where he lived. So he's gone from quite a modest, you know, um, working class house in Pendle area to this mansion here right next to the assizes which were held in Lancaster Castle and after, afterwards um, every magistrate who was in charge would inherit this building. It is a very haunted building to this day. Today it is a um, museum of childhood um, but you can see why Roger Noel pushed so hard for these trials to happen, pushed so hard for these in my opinion, innocent people to be executed as witches um, because this is what he got for it. And the Pendle witch, witch trials were so successful that a book was written about them. King James actually asked someone to write a book and that book became a bestseller by Thomas Potts. You can still get it on the internet today. We've done a bit of research with this pub um, and it was a place where the staff from the castle would come here. Now, something that they used to do to the condemned, no matter what you'd done, was give you a last drink. Now, from the 1700s, they stopped taking people to Gallows Hill like they did with the Pendle Witches, and there's a place in the castle called Hanging Corner, and that's where people would be hanged, then dragged out and probably buried in the ground, as you say. Um, but when that happened, <laughs> they would bring them here for their last drink. Now, the Pendle Witches went to a place called the Golden Lion, so now we are going to the second part of the walk. So we've just been there, Judge's Lodgings, down there to the Three Mariners pub, but we're now going up to Willy Bob Park, AKA Williamson's Park. So we're now outside Willy Bob's Park. You can just see the memorial there lit up. The memorial. So we'll just see how the second part goes. But on the way back, we are going to call back at the Red Lion pub. And that's where the, the uh, Pendle Witches went for their final drink before going to All Gallows Hill. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, watch the steps. Again, it's uneven up here. 
Cheers. Have you seen the view? Look at the view. Satan, Satan yeah. Mm. That's a common one here. Uh, I've got a story to tell you about that. Yeah, look at that view. I mean, so right where we started tonight at that gateway, um, you can see the Williamson Monument just dominating the landscape. Um, and it's, yeah. So this is the highest point, I think, in Lancaster. Is that right? Yeah? Yeah. Um, now, if you look down, <laughs> my torch, it's one of three. Um, this is like a step. It goes Let's down in layers. Up. Yeah. Would hang people. Now, apparently, the yeah. Pendle Witches hanging was the largest amount of. I'm so glad you're behind me there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do creep up on you. So. Yeah, he's got ninja skills. Good. Um, yeah, it was the largest amount, the biggest amount of um, witches being hanged in one day. So this was a. Um, this was a day out for people Seven. so Seven. families that Seven. didn't see each other much would meet up here um, and it was the, your first day um, it was the first like throw stuff at them spit at them throw rotten yeah. fruit at them on the way to the gallows oh. on the way um, they would have gone Fish. to the golden lion for a drink and then come up here now the sources say it's never been so busy in Lancaster this was the place to be it, there was people here as far as the eye could see all set up having picnics parties if anyone is local and ever comes to the festivals here that's how yeah. it's it's right. described it was a festival this was your form of entertainment okay um, now because they were witches they were feared so they would have been absolutely <laughs> attacked on the street well scanning stopped started scanning we've got a REM pod on the floor if you touch the ball's going off oh. thank you hello Hi. spirits <laughs> yep that's a fact light up the ball for yes if you're related to here <laughs> thank you Aww. yeah are you connected with Buzz do we have any spirits here connected with him light up one of the balls oh Flickered. Mm. Could you make that flicker again if that was a yes? Are you connected with Baz? Sure. Oh, there we go. Hmm? Can you give me your name? What? Right, I'm going to get the spirit box out. What? what did that say? What? Hello, spirits. If, if there's anybody here, could you say hello? Please. It's the spirit who's been setting off the balls. Can you come through and say hello? I did it first. <laughs> oh, we're off again. No, the balls. It's just one ball going off, isn't it? Could you set off the ball that's closest to the person you'd like to speak to? Set off that ball. No. Can you, can you tell us your oh, no. name? Did you get that? Ben. Oh, what name? Ben. Oh, a flicker. So, because there's no electricity here close to it, that shouldn't go off at all. Okay. Is the hangman here? Hmm? Harriet. Harriet. <laughs> Is there any spirit here who connected with anyone in this circle? Josh. I heard yes you. Not with me, with one of our guests. Dendike, are you still with us? Nightmare. Yep. Yeah. She's old. <laughs> Did you hear that? Nice. If you... Oh. So as it is Halloween weekend, there's a lot of people out and about in fancy dress. Yeah. So it's if you if you see anyone, that's why. But we finished the ghost tour, which was awesome. It was a total cool. We'll really give you our little it. review later. Yeah. But we're just going to show the Golden Lion pub, and this is a pub where they used to take people on the way to the gallows for their last drink. And there's a plaque outside for the Pendle witches. So we're going to show you it without getting run over. So here it is, this was on the path, on the way to the gallows where we've just been. So if I show you, there it is. So here is the plaque. 
So you've got all the names, if I stand this side, you might be able to see it better. You've got all the names of the Pendle witches. Apart from Dem Dyke, because she died in the cell. Oh yeah. I'll uh, insert a picture of Dem Dyke's cell here. That's of when we went to visit the cell. So, yeah, 1612 Pendle Witches will have walked up that way towards the gallows. So that was the trial execution of the Pendle Witches, the ghost walk, which is done by Haunting Night Ghost Adventures. So if you do want to get in touch with them and you do want to do any of the walks that they have because they do all different walks all over all the details will be in the description below we really recommend doing it we absolutely loved it and we will be doing another one 100 percent also if you're interested in the book on the pendle witch trial this is it by robert Poole, and i really suggest getting this because it teaches you so much more and it's a lot more in depth and you'll just really really enjoy it so we hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a like thumbs up share all that goodness and we will see you in the next vlog bye